Hey everyone, so I'm going to be going over Dios today. And as you probably noticed, my Dios is just not in the best of places, and that's because I kind of put off raising him for the longest time. But I am going to explain today why you probably shouldn't, and why he's actually a pretty good unit to have. So, let's start by taking a look at his Kaigen. So, as you can see, I have absolutely nothing put into Dios. But... What you can do with Dios is make him a 5-5-5 five, five, five unit. And by getting 5 into the first gate and getting the HP, and putting 5 into the second gate, will net him 20% more physical attack on his HP passive from his job plus. And by maxing his gate 3, you will get a 50% HP, 20% dark leader skill. What Dios is, is he's essentially the dark tank that dark never got. He... It's kind of like Al in that he more or less tanks on pure HP. But what makes him an even more effective tank than that is if we take a look at his Nenso. So this isn't a Dios Nenso explicitly. This is a Logi slash Dios slash Envy Nenso. And the base stat is 20 percent or 20 defense, which is not that great. But the Envy group gets 13 slash damage, which will help his damage and any other Envy unit you might run with him. And in this last category here, for Logi and Dios, they will get 1,380 additional HP and 50 crit. That's a lot of HP. And when you combine that with his HP passive and his high HP leader skill... Dios starts hitting really high levels of HP that you just really don't expect coming from dark units. And that will help the squishy dark squads, because pretty much every other unit right now in dark, aside from maybe Golmaras, is pretty squishy. Getting that extra HP means your Jin won't die in one hit, your uh, Rosa isn't going to die in one hit, your Anastasia is not going to die in one hit. It's a very useful leader skill to have. And I will always say, you want to get one 50% HP leader skill and one or two 50% attack leader skills. So basically, one of your leader skills should be a 50-20 leader skill with 50% HP and 20% of whatever elements you're using. And then you should have another leader skill that has like 20% HP and 50% of an attack stat. Like, for instance, Yoros, who would have 20% HP... 20% water, and 30% physical attack. You can also add a third one on for magic if you want. Like if you wanted to use Aisha's 20% HP. Um, I forget if she's 20 or 30% light. Might be 30% light. And then the rest of the percent comes from her magic attack. So you could run a magic squad instead of a physical attack squad. Those are like the basics. Like you, you want to have one of each of those in your group. And the 50-20 leader skill in dark is very very rare and dios is a free easily farmable unit you can get him there faster than any other unit um the next best leader skill i can think of that does a similar thing is Jin's, and his is only a 40 20 leader skill so dios is definitely a good unit to have in your back pocket now if we go down his gear you want the clock uh clock stop scythe and the reason you want this is because it can randomly stop your enemies, and his AoE can apply it. And also, it's a 50 attack, 8 speed, 20 crit, and 10 stop chance item. That's a really good item. It's a really, really good item. If you can't get that, you could always use a Vita Ring, or you could maybe use a Black Killer Leviathan's uh, sword. Or maybe, uh, it really any great sword will work. It's just, the Clock Stop, uh, clock stop Scythe is definitely the A+, plus best in slot, uh, great sword. Now if we go to armor, I think that Dios is, you really don't want to use anything on him but regen armor. If you don't have the regen armor yet, just get something with high HP. The reason we like regen armor on Dios is, think about it, with that all that extra HP... The 10% regen on that regen armor becomes that much more effective. And for the last item here, we have a VCR. And this is the rock VCR, or stone VCR, or whatever you want to call it. It comes from the Nensu that he's wearing right now. And it'll give him 6 starting jewels, 7 speed, um, 
think that's one jump, is it? And um, ten slash damage. And the, this extra slash damage is going to be really nice because with that and the Nenso, he's now at 23 slash modifier damage. And more damage is good because he only has two jobs. His actual physical attack is a little low for an overdrive unit. Um, so for his skill setup, he's going to run both his uni uh, unique main and sub. And the reason we do that is because soldier is an awful job. He, for his reactive, I honestly don't think it matters. They're both bad. And for his passives, he wants to run overdrive and his HP passive. And his HP passive will be the one that gets upgraded in his Kaigen. So let's hop into a map and show him off. Uh, the main reason I want to go over Dios is because ever since I started Japan, there are a large number of Japanese uh, player veterans who swear by Dios. Like, they really like using him because of the usefulness of his leader skill. And because of that, I figured it'd be a good idea to go over him. Just so that way everyone understands why people think so highly of Dios and his leader skill. So let's find one of my Dios friends. Alright, so we're going to be borrowing Salt's Dios today. Uh, so thanks to him. He does not have regen armor equipped right now. And that is mostly because it, it's hard to keep your regen armor on your mercenaries. Because you constantly are using them on the maps that you're doing. So you're constantly moving them around. It's, it's really hard to just keep them on your mercenaries. So as you can see, Dios has seven and a half thousand HP right now. That that that's a lot of HP for a dark unit. Like it, it really is. And if you had um, maybe uh, the dark forecaster, whose name I can't remember off the top of my head right now, you could boost it up even higher if you wanted to. So before I even start, let's go ahead and um, hit his sub kit is the same as any other. Um, uh, Dark Cavalier that I'm aware of. So let's go ahead and that is not it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and buff his attack real quick so that way we can see what kind of damage he can really pull off. Alright, so I guess I have to make one more move. The one downside about the us, I'm just gonna point this out now. 129 speed, that's really slow. It really is. It's not ideal. But it, you kinda get around it with him being like one of the highest HP dark units you can find despite only having two jobs. So it, it'll be very interesting when Dios gets his job three, which has been announced for chapter six, although we don't know when in chapter six it's coming, how getting another HP uh, bonus from another job max is going to affect his HP. I imagine he'll probably hit nine, almost 10K maybe. So his damage isn't super stellar, three and a half K, that's not awful. And we can't see the numbers with that. And if he sacrifices HP, he gets up to almost 5k. And Dios obviously does have his master ability that he has access to. Uh, one of the nice things about Dios is because he's the one of the main characters, he, for some odd reason, they gave both Logi and Dios really high starting jewels for their job class. So he is a little more effective than just a plain Dark Cavalier. And if you're using the clock stop scythe, you do gain access to this extra AoE, which is super nice because having more AoE is never a bad thing. So the main thing about Dios is he kind of just wants to sit in the front and tank damage. He isn't like super tanky like defense wise, so you do have to be careful he doesn't die, but his HP pool makes him better for it than almost every other dark unit that we have. Except for maybe Gull. And the only reason Gull gets away with it really is because he has a bunch of elemental resist, if I remember correctly. Um, but, so yeah, that is uh, Dios. Unfortunately, there isn't much to say here because you guys already know what Dios does. And there's really no reason to go over a main character that everyone can get in super high, uh, super, uh, 
high definition. But, <clears throat> yeah, so, in my opinion, do I think uh, DOS is worth the 555? Well, that depends on you. If you are a free-to-play uh, player, then I honestly think DOS is a really good investment. You can easily farm his shards. He's very easy to get up and running. And there's really no reason to not get him. A four-star Nenso is normally a lot easier to get than a five-star Nenso. So getting his Nenso up in max limit break isn't going to be a major issue like it would be for a uh, five-star Nenso. Um, the Clock Stop Scythe is a gacha weapon, but there are a lot of good farmable greatswords too. Regen armor is practically free when you get it, and once you get the Nenso, you can get the VCR after uh, you manage to grind it out of the Nenso. So there really is no excuse. You, you, can, you can make this character, and he is a good character. But th that's all I have to say on Dios for right now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will go over them. I am not going to be doing a video for Logi anytime soon. Um, despite having a similar Kaigen, uh, Logi's still a bad character. It, his issue is he's even slower than Dios is, and Dios is already pushing it on the I'm too slow for this units, you know? So, thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you next time.